in those eyes. How do I put it? They've a strong sense of duty. Like whatever you start, you'll always see through, no matter what. If you'll permit me, there's something I'd very much like to show you. But... First, I just need to hear it from you. Say that you'll stay, till the very end. With that done, let's get you on your way. Finally awake, are you? You've been out a full week. I serve as captain of the Caldislan Guard. My name is Owen. Can you tell me yours? Tis. You were found unconscious in the ravine near Narende. I take it that was your home? Narende? I must ask you to stay calm. Your village is gone. A great chasm opened in the earth and all of Narende was swallowed up in darkness. You were spared, but the others... Pray, do not think on it now. You need your rest. There will be time for mourning later. Little fellow's back with us, then? Aye, and all alone in the world. And past that solitude, what? Guilt at surviving? Pitiable lad. The king will be expecting my report. Keep watch on him a while, father.
Ah, the Narende boy. Tis, was it? Owen spoke of you. I offer my deepest regrets for your loss. I cannot ease your pain, but time may. Stay and rest all you need. Your Highness is so very kind. Um, but my plan is to leave for the village straight away. Admirable land, but danger hounds the road to Norende. That gaping maw has drawn beasts of all stripe to it. It's overrun with monsters. There may be survivors. All the more reason I must go. Someone out there may be waiting for help. Very well, though it shames me to send you off alone. I'd lend a portion of my guard, but these cursed knights of the Eternian Sky are riddling my kingdom with cannonballs. I'll manage on my own. Thank you, Your Highness. Do be careful, child, and know that you've a place here when you return.
Can you hear my prayers? Wherever you are, whoever you are, can you see the wound torn open before me? Please, let the walls of the world collapse no further. Let me be strong enough to stem this flood. You there. <gasps> if you know something, tell me, please. What caused that chasm? Did anyone else survive? Surely at least a few others. I need information. Anything. My parents were there. My friends. Everyone. Just living their normal boring lives. I won't accept that all those lives have ended. Not without a search. You alone survived. I am sorry. I am sorry. <laughs> I found you! You've been found! I the eyes of a hawk! <laughs> and the nose of seven wolves! Seven wolves that wasted the last week sniffing at dead ends. Now stop yapping and go fetch! I know, woman! And I take no orders from you! No orders! An Eternian airship? <gasps> the Sky Knights! I thought I'd covered my trail! Go! Now! It's me they want! What? Why? I'll not involve an innocent bystander! <gasps> Cannon fire! This is madness! <laughs> this way! What?
darting about, taking covers for the weak. Stand your ground! There are only two tactics a real warrior needs. Frontal assault and death by frontal assault! <laughs> Listen to yourself in a froth over a little girl. <sighs> I'm so very tired of talk. Now, are any of you man enough to go down there and get her? Y yes ma'am, leave it to me. Mmm, good boy. Bring her back, and I may just reward you. But be quick about it. I'm opening fire as soon as I forget about you. And I've a short memory for dawdlers. Y yes ma'am. has nothing to do with me! Let him go! They don't seem like the type to listen. Here they come! Bravely second! Freeze! Yes! Yes! Body clashing against body, muscle against muscle! This is real combat! Oh, my heart, woman! How it races! Yes, lovely. Though I'll grant the boy does handle himself well. I'm less bored than I was a moment ago. Whereas you lot are a massive disappointment. Honestly, are there no men here capable of a satisfying performance? On my way, ma'am! <sighs> Not again! More! More! Gunners, steady on! Keep firing! Fire till you've nothing left! We've nothing left, Captain. What? We're spent? Already? <laughs> Isn't that always the way when you're all passion and no finesse? The great Barris Lair, quickest cannon in Eternia. 
<laughs> the two deadliest guns ever made are still right here. Where steel fails, muscle never falters. Show them what the Sky Knights are made of, boys. Get down there and frontal assault. Yes, sir. than ticks! And flabby. I'll go myself. I must. Oh, how my blood surges. How it longs to smash things. Like our airship? <laughs> You're the only one who can steer this boat, you dumb ox. Holly White, must you dash all of my dreams? Fine. You go get her then. Me? Go crawling down in the dirt like a filthy henchman? In these white robes? <laughs> Please. Now turn us around and let's be off. There will be plenty of time to play with her again once we've resupplied. All of my dreams, Holly White.
I still haven't gotten your name, miss. Mine's Tiz Orier. Agnes. Agnes Oblige. And I'm Airy. It's a pleasure. Ugh! A miniature monster! Ugh! Rude! I am not a miniature monster. I am a Christ Fairy. Fire, water, wind, earth. Four crystals. Four pillars of the world. Agnes is the Vestal of Wind. She tends the Wind Crystal. Vestal of Wind? Priestess, bride, and servant to the crystals. A weaver of prayers who ensures their eternal glow. The Vestal's rites purify the crystals, warding the world from natural disaster. The crystals reveal the way to the Vestals, and the Vestals pass that on to the people. They guide the world! In times past, perhaps, but now the crystals go forgotten, and the Vestals with them. And what purpose should bring a Vestal here? That chasm. A week prior, at the same time, the ground parted here. The crystal of wind was consumed by an unnatural darkness. The crystals are the source of all life and all energy in the world. Our lands, our seas, and all that inhabit them exist through the crystal's bounty. They sustain us. But a foul corruption has overtaken them. The wind lies still, and the oceans rot. Fire runs wild, and the earth... Well, at this rate, the world will be shrouded in a darkness fit to blot out all life from existence. I had to see the chasm for myself. What is it? What caused the ground to fall? I do not know. But I do know how to unmake it and stop the coming dark. I must hurry back to Ansheim. Come, Eri, let's go. Hey, wait a minute.
You said you could unmake it. Do you mean to say you'll repair that giant hole? I will do what only I am able. Purify the crystals and release them from the darkness. Once this blight has been purged from all four of the world's crystals, order will be restored. It is the only way. Vestals have been pouring their prayers into the crystals for generations. Agnes is going to release all that at once. The flood of light that comes out of them should be more than enough to wipe that big hole off the map. I can't even... imagine. Agnes, please, let me help you. My task is not your concern. It is my concern. The chasm. It just swallowed up my village. My family. My friends. I lived the same routine all my life, and that was just stolen from me in an instant. I'll not allow anyone else to suffer the same. I'll do anything. Anything you need. Please, you're... You're a light. My ray of hope. And I want to help. Well, Agnes? I cannot accept. This burden is mine alone, and alone is how I'll see it done. But why? Please! I shall see you back to the city, and there our paths will part. You are not meant to carry this load.
What's that pendant you wear? Uh, this? It was given to me by someone special. It's something of a lucky charm. A lucky charm? That's charming. Uh, sorry, that sounded daft. It's very pretty. It, it suits you. <laughs>
Ah, tis. Good to see you safely returned. What of Norende? I take it from your grim countenance. Our fears were confirmed. It is gone, but not forgotten, your highness. I'm prepared to rebuild it. It will take time, but Norende will recover. Well spoken, lad. I shall support the effort however I can. Take this. It will serve as a token of your new office as chairman of the restoration effort. It's an honor. Your Highness, isn't there any way to drive the Eternian military from the borders of your kingdom? Tis... Ah, they've been a curse upon us all of late. And never more than this last week. They're in a lather over this search for the Wind Vestal. I've no clue what has them so desperate, but they've begun making bald threats. They've berthed their ships at the lake southwest of us with cannons trained on the city. I fear our own ships cannot fly as long as they've our people at gunpoint. It galls me, but there's little I can do. Your Highness, I offer my humblest apology for the ordeal I have forced upon your kingdom. I am Agnes Oblige, the Vestal of Wind. You! I shall resolve the matter. I give you my word. I will cause you no further grief. Will you? Yes, that would be... But wait a moment. You need worry on the matter no further, Your Highness. Farewell. Wait! I'm coming too! a plan, a good one. Get captured. Then they'll take you aboard their airship. That's your ticket across the sea. It's true that no ships can sail upon the ocean now that it's rotted. You can't really mean to. Anyas, they'll kill you. I'll not ask you again. Leave us. 
you are too eager to meddle in the affairs of others. Farewell. Anyas, wait. That road leads to the graveyard. It's a dead end. Uh, which, uh, which way is the lake? It seems you've need of a guide. At least let me show you the way there. Unacceptable. I think it's a grand idea. It could take weeks with Anya's sense of direction. Airy? Oh, very well. Then I ask you to serve as our guide, only as a guide, and... Only as far as the lake. Is that clear? As a crystal, leave it to me.